What's going on guys, Christian here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to connect your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to your Windows PC. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, Windows has built-in drivers for Xbox controllers but not necessarily PlayStation controllers. So we need to download a separate software that's going to emulate the controller into the computer so that it can get all the controls proper. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the link down below and go to this website here and we're going to need to download Input Mapper 1.7 or the latest version that they have available. So you're going to go ahead and click download now and then from there you're just going to go ahead and put that wherever you need to save it. So we're going to go ahead and save it to my downloads and then that's going to go ahead and download. Once it finishes, we can go ahead and double click it here or you could find it wherever you downloaded it to. So that's just about done. And then we can go ahead and double click that. And now that's gonna go ahead and start an installation. So we can see it's gonna pop up. Do you wanna allow this app to make changes? Go ahead and click yes. Then we're gonna run through the setup wizard here. It's nice and easy, just hit next. Um, I already have it installed, so it's going to be a modify. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and do a regular install through these settings and go ahead and run right through that installer. And then once it's done, you can go ahead and launch open the app. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel, finish. And now we're going to go ahead and launch the app. So that is called Input Mapper. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. So once you get that opened up, it's time to connect your controller to the PC. There's two ways you can go about doing that. Uh, you can either do it via Bluetooth if your computer supports that, or you can just plug it in via USB. USB is very simple, plug and play. If you want to connect via Bluetooth, you're going to go ahead and go to the Bluetooth settings. So we can go ahead and type in Bluetooth in the search bar. Go ahead and open that up. From there, you're going to go ahead and click Add Bluetooth or Other Device, and then you're going to click Bluetooth. But first, you need to put the controller in pairing mode. In order to do that, you're going to go ahead and hold the PlayStation Home button and the Share button at the same time. And you're just going to go ahead and hold those until you start to see the light flash pretty rapidly in succession. And once it starts doing that, that means your controller is now in pairing mode. So let me make sure I don't have the controller. So I do, we're gonna remove that. And once we go to add Bluetooth device, Bluetooth, and it's going to pick up the device. So we'll let that scan. And we should see a wireless controller pop up here any second now. And there it is. So go ahead and click that and it's going to go ahead and connect. So we can see that that's now connected. Um, I'm going to actually plug in via USB just because my battery is not fully charged on the controller. So once we do that, we can go back to Input Mapper and you can see it has DualShock 4 controller here. And there's different profiles you can set. So if you drop that down, um, you can have it output Xbox controls or PlayStation controls. So when you're in a game, it'll show either Xbox buttons or PlayStation buttons. Um, device tuning, you can go through and make different tuning modifiers, device settings to turn on the trackpad as a mouse, or you can disable that. So it'll basically turn your controller into a wireless mouse. Um, I'm not quite sure if the volume and microphone input actually work. Uh, yeah, so this is only for controller connected via Sony wireless dongle. So if you have that, then you'll be able to get volume and microphone access on your controller to your computer. And then you can also do the light barred mode. I have it off so it's not burning battery and it's not super bright in the face. But if you want rainbow or it to display battery level, you can go ahead and do that there. So then this is where you would go to set up the profiles. So you can see here, default profile, I have it set up as input device as DualShock 4, output device as DualShock 4. And then you can remap all of your buttons here. So whatever you want it to do, if you want the X, to be the X, or you can make it triangle or anything weird like that, whatever you want to do. And then you can see I also have the Xbox output. 
So that one is inputting as a DualShock 4, but it's outputting as a Xbox 360 controller. So that has to do with compatibility of games. Some games do support the DualShock 4 controller input, others don't, and then you might need to use the Xbox output for it. Um, and all that's really going to do is just affect what it displays on screen. All the buttons still remain the same. So that's all you really have to do to get your PlayStation controller connected to your PC. It's pretty simple. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and throw them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next time.